Welcome back again to Beginner Sewing with Mary. It's been a really long time since I've done a video and I apologize for that. After Christmas, I got so busy with family stuff and just kind of um, got into taking care of my family and doing other things like that. And I and, uh, had to put sewing aside for a while, but I am back now. And I would like to say welcome to you who are new. My name is Mary St. Ange and I've been sewing since I was a little, a little girl and um, I would love to show you some tricks of the trade that I've learned while I'm doing different projects that uh, come my way or that I've selected to show you. So when you watch my videos I hope you'll learn a lot about little tricks of the trade that will help you get your sewing done a lot easier and a lot look and have it look a lot more professional um, today is this week I wanted to show you about a uh, project that I'm working on for a friend um, she asked me to take a piece of quilting material that she had that we had left over from making some quilted pillows and um, turn it into a throw so in this video you will see me putting together the binding for the throw and then putting the binding on the throw. And I just wanted to show you how I do that. There's a couple different ways to do it. And this is one of the ways that I chose to do this with this type of fabric. So anyways, I look forward to hearing from you, hearing your comments, and it's so good to be back. All right, let's get started. Hello friends, today I'm gonna to be working on putting some trim on some extra quilt fabric that um, a friend asked me to make a, um, a throw out of, um, like a couch throw. And the first thing I did was I took the trim off a bunch of the old parts of the quilt and then I am going to make this the new trim for the throw. And I'm gonna show you how to put um, different pieces together. So if you have some, some short pieces of fabric and in strips and you wanna make a longer piece, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, let's get started. So guys, I wanna show you how you do the math for figuring how much trim you will need for a quilt. I measured the quilt and it is, I will show you, it's a rectangular um, quilt or throw, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's 90 inches with both sides combined. So it's 45, 45. And this side is 60, 68. These two edges together, so 68. That's 34 by 34, okay? So what you do is you just add the total of those sides and the total of these ends together. And you've got 90 plus 68. It's 158 inches. Oh, and I should mention, we are going by inches in America. I'm not uh, sure what centimeters would be, but that's what it would be in America. So it'd be 158 inches. So that's how much I need to make of this, okay? Okay, so what you want to do is you want to make sure that when you open this flap up that it's going to be on the right side. Sometimes when you don't do that then you don't get the right marking. So right here we're going to pin this across here. This across here like that. So then when I sew across this way It'll open up like that.
Okay friends, now we're going to go along the good side of the quilt and I went through and I started pinning the trim for the bat, um, the binding on the edge here and what will happen is I'll show you. I'm going to sew it in place like that first all the way around and then we'll flip it over and sew it down on the other side. I like doing that way because I that way I, when I sew it on the other side I'm going to do a slip stitch so you won't see any hems and it looks really very pretty. Okay, I'll show you how we do that. Okay friends, I've got the trim all on the blanket here for the quilt. You can see it's all sewn on, got the edges done, everything is set up. Now what I need to do is just flip it over and start sewing. So that's what I'm going to show you right now. Okay. 